Genetics uh, between adults and uh, children with ESN focus salvagitis. Um, there are absolutely reports of families that have relatives that have ESN focus salvagitis. A child comes in with ESN focus salvagitis. It turns out the parent has also been having trouble swallowing and may be diagnosed with ESN focus salvagitis. And the converse is true. I've seen adult patients who come in and it turns out their child uh, has symptoms of ESN focus salvagitis and will get the diagnosis made. But in my experience, it's not the majority. It's the minority of patients that have that kind of strong family history. It's about 10% or lower that have a strong family history like that, which means the majority of patients do not have that family history of uh, affected family members. And I think that's reassuring because I think a commonly asked question is, what is the risk that I will pass this on to my child? If I'm an adult with this, is my child going to get this? The likelihood is that, no, they won't get it. They're at higher risk than maybe the general population, but there's certainly no guarantee. There's no, nothing that says they will absolutely get the disease. In fact, it's more likely they will not get the disease.